Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at some moments that if they weren't filmed, nobody would believe them. Get ready to have your mind blown away. A sneaky seagull walks inside a store and steals a bag of chips, then runs away. Oh, come on, there's no way that seagull's actually gonna get away with that. And it just runs out the doors. I'd grab it, honestly. I'm telling you right now, if I own that shop, I'd literally run after that seagull. Seagulls are low-key kind of scary. Like, I've seen so many videos of them flying on the people and stealing their food. I'm telling you right now, if one of them things tried to grab my food, I'd grab it by the neck and slowly squish in its neck and watch it die. I can't say that. I'm gonna get put in the jail for animal abuse. This video captured a piece of raw meat crawling out of the plate at this restaurant and made an escape. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Why is it moving? I'm sorry, there has to be some meaning for that. There's no way that piece of raw chicken is still alive. It has to be like the nerves or muscles glitching. I feel so bad for the person who filmed that video. Like they honestly would be screaming. Imagine you already ate half of that thing and then it starts moving. Imagine if it started moving inside your body or in your mouth. Nah, I can't think about that because I'll literally vomit. Surely that restaurant should get shut down. Like that seems pretty illegal to me. A heroic cat quickly leaps into action to save a toddler before falling down the stairs. Okay, the toddler. Toddler's gonna fall down the stairs. Apparently, where's the cat? Maybe cats aren't so bad after all. Oh! Grab the toddler. Okay! That's a good cat. Honestly, I like cats now. I'd actually feel really bad for the cat if the parents walked up the stairs and seen the cat attacking the child thinking that it's trying to kill it. That cat would have got turned into cat stew. That's actually quite heroic. Like whenever you think of cat, you usually think of them attacking people. However, this one literally saved the baby's life. When Jared Allen attempted a free throw, the ball spinned for a very long time around the rim before actually going into the hoop. Okay, this is basketball, so I don't know how it works. Let's see, okay, it's doing a spin. Go in! Woohoo, we got it! Okay, now that's really good luck. I feel like that would never happen to me. I literally have the worst luck ever. I'm not gonna lie, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am actually quite good at basketball. Whenever I do it in PE, I would get quite a few cool trick shots. But I mean, I'd never be able to do anything as cool as him. This street performer will make you forget that it was only one person this whole entire time. I've seen videos like this before and it's so freaky. Look at that, it looks like two people. Oh my gosh, where would you learn to do that? That's actually kind of scary. Like whenever I look at that, it's starting to mess with my brain because I think it's two people, but it's one. Where did he learn to do that? Is there a YouTube tutorial on how to do it? I kind of want to do that. Like that would Loki be like my Freaky Friday talent. Remember whenever you do like talent shows in school, I'd do something like that. Now that is something I'd pay to see. These Chinese wushu fighters have really practiced their moves down to every millisecond. One wrong move and could end up in a total disaster. Oh my gosh, look at them. What? That is so like... I don't know how to describe it. If I done that, it would literally go right through me. Oh my gosh, look at the way it's just shooting them. That's so scary, I couldn't do that. They would literally end up as a triphobia's worst nightmare. They'd end up looking like bubble wrap, like they'd have loose holes in them. That's actually quite crazy that they literally learned to do that. I'm telling you, these people are so smart and talented and just dumb and thick. This woman made DIY shoes that look exactly like the pigeons surrounding her, which happened to confuse them. Oh my god, they probably think it's their siblings. I actually kind of love pigeons, like they're kind of dirty and rats with rings, but they're kind of cute. I don't know how to feel about it. It's cool, but it's also disgusting. Actually, I'm gonna retract my statement. Pigeons are not rats with wings. That's bats. There's a lot of pigeons in my area and myself and my mother always feed them. Like we put seeds out in their back garden and they always fly down and eat the seeds. I'm not gonna lie, they are getting a bit fat, so they're probably gonna die of like diabetes or have a stroke or heart attack, but at least they're getting fed. If you've never seen the world's highest dive, then here's Rick Charles jumping from 173 feet into a lake in 1983. Look how high he is. I'm telling you right now, if I'd done that, I'd go splat. Like, you need to be careful whenever you're jumping from that height. Because apparently, if you hit water from, like, that height and speed, it's basically the same as landing on concrete. Oh my god, he's not even landing in the pool or the river. He's landing somewhere else. Okay, he's going. Please don't injure yourself. And he's fine, I hope. I mean, hopefully he survived. I don't know if he did. I'm pretty sure he did, Foo. I couldn't do that. Like, if I'd done that, I'd literally blow up like a bomb. Pieces of my body would be scattered all over the place. An orca whale in the distance threw a seal 80 feet into the air and got to experience what it's like being a bird. Okay, what's gonna happen? <gasps> oh my gosh. Is that a bird or a fish? Did you see that flying? 
Look at it, it literally went up into the air flying. Is that a fish? I think it is. That's actually quite scary that whales can do that. They are so powerful, so I never, ever, ever want to go into the sea. Imagine if you get eaten by a seal. What's that Christian character that got eaten by a seal? Was it Moses? I swear somebody got eaten by a seal or like a big fish. Wouldn't that be like so cool? Like you're literally camping in a seal. Why do I keep saying seal? I keep meaning to say wheel. You guys, my brain isn't working tonight. A stunt driver, Terry Grant, managed to beat the world's record for the fastest mile drive in a car on two wheels. I've seen stuff like this before. Like he's literally driving a car on two wheels. Look at him. He's just zooming around the corner. How is that possible? I couldn't do that. I can even drive a car normally like I crash it But look at him going around all these turns and grooves on a car like that I don't know how he does it like if I were him I'd literally crash look at him. He just zooms past honestly yet again These people are talented and I've got no talent whatsoever How would you even learn to do that like surely if the car tipped you would like break your body Didn't Jeffree Stark get into a massive car crash recently and he had to go to hospital Don't let him near a car like that because he'll get injured again Some students at a Kenyan high school were able to jump as high as two meters over the pole and landed with ease. Okay, he's gonna jump. Three, two, one. Look at him. They need to sign him up to like the Olympics. How can you do that? Like, I can't even jump up a centimeter. Thinking about it now, can I even jump? I don't think I can. I'm telling you, these people are talented. They need to be put into the Olympics. Imagine if they win loads of gold medals for their country. They'll literally be national heroes. These boaters welcomed an unexpected guest on their boat and fed him lots of fish. It's a seal. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've wanted to do that to a seal before, but this is so dangerous. The seal's literally gonna follow them and then probably get killed. I mean, it's cute. Actually, it's not cute. It's terrifying. Whenever I was younger, I tried to stroke the seal and honestly, it was the worst thing I could have ever done. I wasn't able to touch it, but like, it literally could have bitten me. The bad thing that they've done is feed this animal. So it means now the seal's literally gonna follow them around thinking it's gonna get fish and it's gonna try and jump up onto their boot. And if it does that, the other boots is probably gonna get shot. You also have to be very careful with them creatures because you don't know if they could bite you. They've got a big mouth and sharp teeth, so they'll literally take your hand off clean. There's a river in Indiana called the Wabash River where fish like to jump out of the water. Oh, this seems terrifying. Are they just getting hit by loads of fish? That's terrifying. If that literally hit them, it could probably break a bone. They don't even need to go fishing anymore because now they've got fish. What are the fish that always jump out of rivers? Is it piranhas? I swear it's piranhas or something like that. But apparently if they hit you, they could literally break your jaw. I swear I heard a story about somebody got hit in the face with one and they literally broke their face. It's literally like getting slapped super hard across the face. It would be so painful and dangerous. But I mean, if you wanted to go out fishing, that would be such a good place to go. You wouldn't even need a fish. Just drive for the area and the fish will jump into your little boat. Voila, you've got dinner. <laughs> This dash cam caught a styrofoam box jump back in and out of the moving truck twice in a row. Okay, it's gonna jump out. And it jumped back in. And I and in again. Okay, that's actually kind of scary because imagine if it wasn't a foam box and it was like some metal thing, like a metal pie. What's that movie where somebody gets their face taken off clean by a metal pie? Because of movies like that, I'm scared to drive behind lorries. Like imagine if it fell apart and everything hit you. That could happen with any car, to be honest. A lorry, a truck, a jeep, like anything. This is why I don't like to watch videos like this because I always think of the worst possible scenario. But I mean, at least he didn't get injured. Watch as this man appears to throw ice on purpose to try and fake a slip for insurance money, which he was then charged for insurance fraud. What an idiot. I swear Chinese people do this in China where they literally jump in front of cars. Okay, let's see if he slips. Three, two, one. It's gonna happen. Hello, fall. You're meant to be getting insurance. Is he gonna fall? Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, and there he goes. Nobody's gonna believe you, sweetheart. You've been caught red-handed in CCTV. Caught in 4K. I hate people like that. Like, I can imagine somebody trying to do that to my business. Did they try to sue the business? Like, they're getting insurance or something like that. At least he got charged with insurance fraud. Like, he's a scammer. He deserves it. Sometimes it's better to leave bowling to the professionals. Otherwise, things like this will happen. Oh my gosh. Why is black stuff coming out? She's hit a pipe. 
Imagine if she gets charged for that, that poor woman. That's exactly why I don't like doing activities like bowling or ice skating. Because I feel like whenever I'm doing ice skating, I'm going to fall, crack my head open, or whenever I'm bowling, something like that's going to happen. There's literally a one in a billion possibility of that happening to you, but that would literally happen to me. I mean, it happened to her, so it could happen to anyone. That's honestly such bad luck, because that whole place is probably going to have to get shut down. That poor woman, I feel so bad for her. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. That was some moments that if they weren't filmed, nobody would believe them. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the subscribe button. And yes, I will see you all in my next video.